Right, we are here at the Fantastic Green Auto Summit and I just had a very exciting moment, as have the audience, because um, we, we have heard from Dimitri Lashin, who's the uh, CEO of L Charge, surprise us all with a proposition around vehicle charging. Now, electric vehicle charging is a fundamental for anyone considering an EV or anyone with an EV. So, Dimitri, you surprised us with something. Give us a quick nutshell of what you've told everybody about just now. Yeah, so, Roger, the general idea is that we have feeling that there is no enough charging infrastructure on a, on a, in the world. It's right. all, all countries, even in California, where it's the most electric place, mm -hmm. Every fifth owner of the electric vehicle shift back base to the to the conventional car. It's uh, the survey shows us because of the lack of charging. Mm. So everybody think about the charging. But uh, what I mentioned in my speech, I say that, that the charging is not charging itself. We need the fast charging because we we really would like to benchmark with with fuel and with oil. Mm. So we would like to have the same speed of charging than normal people. Yes, and, and what, what you surprised us all with, and you teased us very nicely, by the way, your, your slides as they went work very well, was that this isn't about hooking up to the grid. This is about using LNG, CNG, and hydrogen in the right application to give off-grid capability for fast charging of electric vehicles. But what you're not saying is this is for everybody everywhere. This is one solution where it's appropriate to put it in in regards to the CO2 proposition, the commercial proposition, and the realistic issue that a, a location has. Did I listen correctly? Is that, is that what you've, you've said? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we do not say that it's only one solution for, for all over the globe. We only saying that to rapidly scalable uh, infrastructure of charging, we really would like partly go off grid yeah. and start to promote, promote and start to install such kind of solutions because we can do it rapidly. In one day you can install and already start to use. Later right. on, maybe you have grid available here or yeah. you solve all the bureaucratic issues with the grid and you can connect the grid as well. Yeah. Mm. Hang on, Dimitri. Just, I know people who are busy with building charging infrastructures. They have to wait for licenses, research, all sorts of things that take months, sometimes years. Did you, did you just say you can do it in a day? Exactly. <laughs> just put... Yeah, that, come on, that's cool. Yeah, but, and also, just imagine, you can check uh, how was the traffic around this. Yeah. And if the traffic was wrong, you just put it back and yeah. locate in another place. Right, and then the other thing you showed us was mobile charging. So you basically have a truck that's equipped with the facility to go and charge someone somewhere. Uh, in a situation. I have to tell you, I know you said this is a first, it kind of is of what you're doing, but I have seen that with a truck full of batteries with Neo in China actually charging, I think it was, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure of the vehicle, I think it was a Shang Automotive electric van, um, EV80 or something, uh, charging a Tesla, believe it or not, on the roadside. So that's the other option you've got, isn't it? Mobile charging. Yeah, it's true. But the question is that our charging can work almost 24 hours because uh, we don't need to, and we can refuel it only in, in 10 minutes. But so, right. but so such big charger, if if it is really a possible with a with a weight, yeah. because if you really would like to charge 30 vehicles per day, you need a more than 20 ton trucks. So yeah. it's not yeah. our let's say seven ton small truck. It's yeah. a 20 ton trailer who have just to pass through the city and then stay somewhere for a couple of hours to charge it back, and that's that's yeah. Dimitri, just to conclude, what, what you've done today, which I really like, is you've made us think. You've given us food for thought around, well, it isn't all about the grid. Not because we don't want it to be, but let's deal with the real world. Yeah. Let's be realistic. So I, I think what you've got is, yeah, innovative, interesting, and I think it's going to find a place to work. So, my friend, I wish you well. Good luck. Thank you very much, Roger. I, it was really a pleasure to talk with you and to be here on this summit. So Cheers. it was really nice. Yeah. My pleasure.